Okay, so this is what we're gonna do today. Today is we're going to talk a little bit about um my long time with God this morning, all while doing Coleman and Jacy's hair. So this that is gonna be our task, and let's get into it. I hope you enjoy. In this video, I will be giving you guys all the details on how I moisturize my daughter's hair. So if you like this look, stay tuned. If you want the tea, if you want the tea, come just ask me. Can you please turn the TV down? Oh Lord, we're over recording. Okay, so today I am going to film with my JC. Introduce yourself. Say, my name is JC. My name is JC. Don't be shy. Say, I am four years old. Four. What do you want to say to the to the camera, to the people today? And I'm going to take a school. Mm-hmm. And what else? I'm going to do some work. <laughs> yep, and what else? I have a tablet with my daddy brought. Okay, when did you get your tablet? And my yeah. for my party. So you got a tablet for your birthday? It was yeah. your birthday gift? Yeah. Oh. I then got it. Got it. Oh, he did? Uh -huh. So can you tell the kids about your tablet? What all games you play on your tablet? Uh, um, you know what kind of games I play on my tablet and cartoons? You watch cartoons? Yeah. Now what type of games do you play? You want to show you? No, you have to show the people. I know. We're talking to the people. So, JC, this is what we're going to do. We're going to comb your hair today, okay? No. Yeah. No. So, you don't want the people to see you get your hair combed like a big girl? No. Why? Because you cry? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, you know what that means? You have to be a big girl. Oh, oh. The boy can. Okay. Go ahead. I'm about to. Hmm? I'm about to if you let me go. Okay, go ahead. Everyday things that we do on a daily basis, how we get our day started. I wish I had some music, but I don't, so. Just put it back. You want your bag? You want to break it? Mm -mm. Just no. um, I like like this way. Okay. So this is a little concoction that I done mixed up. It's um conditioner, olive oil, and conditioner, olive oil. How did I do? It's conditioner, olive oil, water. I think I, I think that's it. So I like to spray that on her hair just to give it some moisture. And she does not like to get a comb. But if she's occupied, I think it'll work. And I just grease her scalp with the baby. The don't be bald. Baby don't be bald. I love how the baby don't be bald keeps her hair shiny and moisturized. Whatever ingredients is in this product, I love how it moisturizes her hair and grows it. I should put some pictures up of my baby's hair. She was about one, year, one or two years old. This morning, I was, oh yeah, down baby. And spending time with the Lord. In that time, he led me to the scriptures. Uh, I think it was First Samuel. How David defeated Goliath. David's father told him that to go check on his brothers and sent David with some food for his brothers. 
and he wanted to, um the father wanted david to report back to him on how the brothers were doing when he got there he realized that the philistines were taunting or the light was, was taunting the israel Israelites. I think it was the Israelites. Anyway, it was God's people and God's army. When he was like, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Who is this pagan Philistine? Y'all can't go out there and fight this man. And y'all so afraid like we don't serve up mighty God like we don't serve a great God like David was like let me at him I got him let me go get him so David was so full of confidence and he was fearless he went out there to fight Goliath and then the king tried the king didn't even want to fight oh yeah now baby the king didn't even want to fight him this this giant was like nine feet tall he he was they said that he was a um what are you talking about I'm talking about the story in the Bible. You remember David and Goliath? We watched that movie when David had killed Goliath. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I know you're talking about that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And you talk about in my storybook. Yep, in your storybook. So he was like nine feet tall and he was this big, strong, giant, warrior sense. He got a wreck and killed him. She's kind of trying to tell y'all the story. So who get who got the rock and killed who? Mm -hmm. I first got the giant name. Goliath. Oh. Who killed Goliath? I first got the kid name too. He was a kid. His name was David. The kid. His name was David. Oh yeah, and David was a young boy at this time. Maybe a teenager. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> he was young and he was fearless. He knew that God had protected him from all the lions, the tigers, the bears. I think it was just lions and bears. But he knew God lions. had protected him. It was just lions? Okay. He knew God had protected him before. So he wasn't scared to go out there and fight the lion. Because he had faith that God would be with him and he would... Help him defeat the lion just like he helped, he saved him when the bears and the tigers, only well, the lions, lions and the bears, only lions, when um, he was protecting the I'm sheep. About to fall. Oh, I'm sorry. So, God just placed in my, in my spirit that <sighs> Goliath has fallen. I have already defeated my Goliath with his help, of course, because he's with me. So, this next step in my life, I am going to focus on my purpose and what God has for me instead of worrying about things, instead of worrying about what other people say. I know this time in my life is going to be such, so different from the last time because I have the tools to go forward. Mm -hmm. So I moisturized her hair with my concoction, <laughs> my olive oil conditioner and water or leave-in conditioner. I use, I alternate. It just depends on how my money looking. But no, for real though. I, um, I kind of alternate between water and leave-in. to zoom in and kind of get a picture or video it came out so beautiful look 